That's a cocaine joke that I just told there. I didn't know if he knew. I'm not a cocaine guy anymore. I've been through phases in my life of drugs. I don't do drugs anymore, though. I smoke weed, but no drugs. You know, I mean, I'd, probably, I'd do like mushrooms or acid if somebody had that. But that's just tripping. That's not drugs. <laughs> But no, I went through phases. I did meth. I tried meth when I was 15. I was from, I'm from Independence, Missouri, and when I was 15, that was like 96 or whatever, Independence, Missouri was the methamphetamine capital of the world, which we were all pretty proud of. <laughs> but it, it was me and my friend Frazier, and we lived like walking distance from each other, and then this dude named Donovan lived up the street, and Donovan sold us weed and other shit sometimes, and he was cool as fuck, and we were lucky that he let us hang out with him and stuff, is what we thought at the time. <laughs> like, looking back now, it's like, we're 14, and he's like 33. <laughs> Why does Donovan want to hang out with us? But, but then he gave us some meth one day, and it was pretty awesome. We both, me and Frazier both played football, so it like made us better at football. <laughs> we could like read people's thoughts and shit, you know? Like, like meth is good for you if you only do it for like six months. It's after that when it starts fucking your life up. But the first six months, it's, it's awesome. You're more social, you make friends and shit. Your whole house gets cleaned up. <laughs> Like, you lose weight, you're better at high school football. Like, everything about it is just positive. It's after the six month mark, though, that's when you start sucking dicks and shit. And like... I didn't make it that far. I, I probably would have, but my parents found out and then they wouldn't let me do meth no more. I was pretty upset at the time, but looking back now, it was probably for the best.